Welcome to this episode of Revised Science with me. I will be your science coach to guide you through a revision session that will enable you to get the retrieval practice you need to get the maximum marks in your science exams. This will support you memorising the huge number of facts that are required in your science GCSE exams. To help this channel to grow, subscribe, like and share. This video will coach you to make and use an interactive revision tool to revise the different characteristics of alpha, beta and gamma radioactive decay. For this session, you will need 20 minutes of peace and focus, a space to write and work, an A3 sheet of paper, a pack of large sticky notes, a decent pen or marker, a ruler to draw the lines, a source of information such as your science exercise book, a revision guide of an appropriate tier and exam board, um, a course textbook, exam mark scheme or any other relevant source of information. Visit the products page of the sciencerevisioncoach.org website for all the equipment you may need in one place online. online. If you need to get any of the equipment I've just mentioned, you can press the pause button now to go and collect. Step one, divide the A3 sheet into three columns and label them with the headings alpha, beta and gamma. Press the pause button now to complete this. Step two, write a feature of each type of radioactive decay on an individual sticky note using your source of information. Press the pause button now to complete this. Step three, finally close your source of information, remove all the sticky notes and shuffle them up. Try and replace the sticky notes into the right column on the A3 sheet. Press the pause button now to complete this. You have now made an interactive revision tool. This should not have taken more than 20 minutes to create, but now that you have made it, you can use it to help you remember different characteristics of alpha, beta and gamma radioactive decay. Making this is revision in and of itself. You are reviewing the source material and interacting with it as you read and copy the key features. Spend another 20 minute revision session trying to put the sticky notes into the right place. Each time check your answers with the source material or you can write the answers in pencil on the reverse of the A3 sheet. Time how quickly you have been able to replace the sticky notes correctly. Repeat this during the 20 minute revision session as many times as you can. The faster you get, the better your memory. And you can use a stopwatch to support you with this. Reuse this interactive revision tool repeatedly before your exam. And if you haven't already put together a revision timetable, you should get that done. And I have a template that you can edit on the sciencerevisioncoach.org website. You should now remember different characteristics of alpha, beta and gamma radioactive decay if you've used a revision tool as I have described in this video. Remember to follow this up with past paper exam questions and you can find these online and I have included a source in the description that can help you with this. I have also done some radioactive half-life exam um, technique practice questions on the exam technique playlist on this channel. Remember to subscribe and press the like and notification button. Good luck and goodbye.